Cody. What? What? Yeah? That's cool. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> Such a talkative cat. Small talk, no conversation That look makes me impatient I can't tell what you're thinking Please tell me what you're thinking Last night we were more than fine Just tell me if you changed your mind If you changed your mind Cause I'm all, I'm all in I'm calling, no answer You text me when you feel like When it feels right to you but I'm all, I'm all in, I'm falling faster. Good morning. It is. What time is it? It's too early for me. It's 8.11. I woke up at 7.30 and usually I wake up at like, I don't know, 10 these days because we're in quarantine and I don't really have like a reason to get up super early all the time, so I don't because I'm not a morning person. I am looking pretty treacherous right now. I am going to do my makeup this morning out here on my deck for today. Today I am going on a little family hike and we're going to a Seattle trail. And we've never been. I think it's called Discovery Park. But yeah, so it's just going to be like a day vlog today. And we're going on an adventure as a family. Me, my husband, and my daughter. So I'm going to get my makeup going. And for makeup, I'm doing a... I'm going to do a very minimal makeup look since I'm hiking. And I'm going to be sweating and just moving a lot. And it might rain in Seattle. So, um minimal makeup but then also i'm going to put products on that'll do well with sweating and rain and all that if i'm squinting a lot it's because it's actually not even that sunny but my eyes are like super sensitive to bright light and like i said i just woke up so just this like natural glow of the sky is like too much for my eyes right now okay hair is up let's get into the makeup so in the morning i wake up usually and i'm like really just i need lotion on my face i need to like revive my face so i'm going to put on a moisturizer and a vitamin c serum so i'm going to use the derma e vitamin c concentrated serum with hyaluronic acid first Please don't mind my nails for quite a while now um, and like in my vlog that I just posted my nails I realized look so bad in most of that video um, because I had to pull off my fake ones while in Arizona and I didn't bring any other ones and so I just never did my nails again and um, I just realized they were looking really gross in my last video I posted and they still do because I still haven't done them but oh well we can't look perfect all the time ladies can we and then I'm gonna spray my face with my, one of my favorite moisturizers the yes to coconut the yes to coconut milk mystified moisturizer I've talked about this a few times the Sun's gonna like hit me on and off I hope it doesn't like make it hard to see I'm gonna spray this all over Get the neck. I let this sit for just a second and then I'll like pat it in. Thank you. Please tell. I don't like to put too heavy of products on um, as far as like moisturizers and serums before makeup because then I feel like my makeup applies different and not in a good way different. So I don't like to put a ton of like serums or moisturizers on before makeup. So for primer, I'm using one of my all-time favorite primers, especially when I'm going to be outside. It has SPF in it. 
So it actually has SPF 50 in it, which is awesome. And it's a cheap primer by e.l.f. It's six bucks. And something I like about this is that it doesn't say it's like waterproof. No, it doesn't say it's waterproof at all, but this stuff stays on really well. So it's almost like waterproof. It's a universal tint, so it does have a tint to it. Um, and it almost goes on looking darker than my skin tone, but it always works out and I put my foundation over it and it just blends right in and doesn't make my face look darker than the rest of me or anything. I will buy two or just go buy another one if I'm getting low. I'm gonna take like, like three-ish, three-ish squirts of that. Rub it all over, even the eyes. I will be putting like a little bit of eyeshadow on. If I sound quiet, it's because I am on my deck. I'm at an apartment complex, so there's someone right next to me on either side. And I don't want to like be too loud because it is kind of early, like it's quarantine, so people still are sleeping. Like no one really has to go to work, so I'm just trying to be a little quieter. Don't want anyone coming out screaming at me to shut up. <laughs> just trying to be creative, you guys. I'm going to just put a super light layer of foundation on because this is good enough for today. Like, I don't need a ton of makeup on. I'm going on a hike. So I'm going to put on the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I've talked about this before. It's with coconut milk and aloe extract. And it's the shade 550 Light Medium. It's a dewy finish. Very buildable, but light. Now I gotta hurry up because I wanna make breakfast and I wanna make a smoothie for on the road. I like to make smoothies um, for when I'm like on the go or whatever because sometimes I'll forget to have lunch. And I also just don't get enough protein in my diet because I don't like a lot of meats. So I wanna have time to make a protein smoothie before I leave and then I also wanna make some French toast because I've been craving French toast for some reason. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of the foundation all over. So kind of like a reason I decided to do like a day vlog hike, like hiking edition or whatever. I guess that's what I'll call it, day vlog hiking edition. It's because honestly I was just sitting there yesterday thinking what do I want to film? I have no ideas, I'm supposed to film tomorrow and making that vlog that I just posted was honestly so fun and it was even fun to edit and all that and I'm a girl that loves like nice montage um, rather than like a ton of talking in a video. Like I just love those cute montages of like whatever people are doing in their vlogs and then they have music playing and it's just like fun to just watch what they're up to if they're like on an adventure of some sort. I just love that and that's what you can do with vlogs and so I was like you know what I'm just gonna do another vlog. Just kind of a random last minute decision for a video but should be a good one. So jumping in to um, concealer like foundation I didn't really have something that claims to be sweat proof waterproof. Um, for concealer so I'm just using the elf 16 hour camo concealer since it's 16 hour I'm guessing that means it's very long lasting and hopefully it can get through like sweat and rain and will not budge and stay on my face so I'm gonna try this concealer today just to let me down, down. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put some powder all over my face for my T-zone area, so like under my eyes and chin and just everywhere I just concealed. I'm going to use a lighter finishing powder and it's the HD finishing powder um, by NYX and it's in the shade Banana. It's a compact um, powder, so it looks like this. And I'm gonna put this, like I said, in my T-zone area. 
with a beauty blender, the same one I just used to blend out my concealer. So that area is set, so now I'm going to go in with a different setting powder for all over my face. And I'm going to use a powder brush for this, the um, Real Techniques 201 brush, powder brush. And I'm going to put the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder on. It's in the shade 105 Fair Ivory. It's another pressed powder. Um, it's more of the shade of my foundation and all that. I don't know if you can even tell the shade, but it looks like that. I'm gonna hop off camera and do my eyebrows super quick. I've done my eyebrows a few times on camera, and then I actually have done a brow tutorial video. So I'm just gonna do my eyebrows really quick, and I'm actually not gonna do it like my brow tutorial. I'm just gonna do a more simple, easy, quick eyebrow so I'll be right back okay brows are as good as they're gonna get I always have one brow that wants to cooperate and then one brow that does not want to cooperate and this one does not want to cooperate ever but this one is looking cute I'm gonna go in a little heavier with the bronzer since I didn't contour first with a cream contour and I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Old School Kylie Cosmetics Skinny Dip Palette um, and I'm just using the bronzer. It's such a good bronzer for a pale face. Like someone who's super pale, this bronzer, the Kylie Cosmetics Skinny Dip Bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed is such a good bronzer for a pale person. I'm using my favorite bronzer brush, I've talked about it a million times, the 400 Real Techniques brush. It's actually a blush brush, but I use it for powder contour. You feel like when it feels right to you, but I'm all, I'm all in, I'm falling past it. But if you're looking at me with the heart of doubt, I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of my pressed powder that matches my skin tone to lighten up the contouring a little bit because I am uh, looking a little too dark in the areas I just contoured. This is just like an easy little trick that if you like over contour, over powder contour, just take a powder brush and your pressed powder or whatever powder you like that's your skin tone and put it over the contour to just lighten it up however much you want. Like I put too much right there. So I lighten it up. So now I'm just gonna do a little bit of nose contouring with the same bronzer I just used and then this little brush that I've always used for my nose contour. Okay, back at it after getting my husband coffee. So for eyes, once again, whenever I do like a more natural, super simple, easy, quick look, I do bronzer on my eyes, my eyelids. So I'm gonna put some of the Kylie Cosmetics bronzer on my eyelids that I just put on my face. Our fingers can apply makeup so much better than brushes sometimes. So now I'm going in with some just brown eyeliner and I'm just going to put a, t it's just the Morphe um, eyeliner that I've used before in the shade Bar and I'm going to just do a tiny little like wing on either side of my eye and I'm just doing like just on the outer corner. I'm not like bringing the wing all the way in or anything like that. So for 
for eyelashes. I'm taking a very wispy pair of lashes and I'm going to cut them in half. And I'm gonna put the this end on the outer part of my eye to do more of like a feathered out, almost like cat eye effect. To apply these lashes, I'm using the duo glue, like I always do, and then just some tweezers. So I actually lied and I thought these were the Morphe lashes um, and they're not. It's actually the Ardell Professional Wispies. Mine are super crazy because I cut mine and all that but this is what they look like. These are like a staple, just an everyday easy simple light lash. I recommend these. They're really long but they also come in like a shorter length but still very wispy. I love these. I used to do this all the time, um, but then I stopped for a while, but this is my favorite way to put lashes on, is just on the very outer corner. So for top lash mascara, I'm going to do my favorite, the Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline New York. It came out not too long ago, and it's very popular. Why do I keep sitting here, spinning bottles right in front of my mirror, in my head I'm Thinking too much. Top lash mascara on. Now I'm gonna do the lower lash mascara. I'm gonna use my favorite lower lash mascara. Um, it's the Telescopic Carbon Black L'Oreal Paris mascara. It's just so perfect for getting those lower lashes. For blush, I'm using a palette that I've had for a while. It's the Profusion, Profusion Cosmetics Blush Six Shade Blush Palette. And it's super messy, but looks like this. I think I'm gonna use the shade Exhale today. This shade right here. It's kind of like a dark orangey peachy shade. To apply it, I'm just going to use this brush. It's an angled fluffy brush and I'm going to concentrate it more up here because ever since I did Jordan Lips Cumbies tutorial, she puts blush more up here on her temple and it kind of lifts her face and I agree, it really does lift your face. I'm going to put this blush on the top of my nose as well. I just can't stop doing that when I put blush on because it just blends everything really well. Now, if I don't put it on my nose, I feel like I just have like color, color, and so much just like paleness down the center of my face. So I'm putting a little bit of this on the bridge of my nose. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm using an OG. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow. Looks like that. Very iridescent light pink shade. You set the fire. I took the flame. Lost in the moment. So for lips, I'm doing this e.l.f. tinted lip oil that I just got. I haven't even opened it yet or tried it. It's in the shade Pink Kiss, and like I said, it's a tinted lip oil. I feel like this lip oil will keep them moisturized. It's just a very light shade, and it's so flattering. It feels so good. And silky on my lips so finally setting spray of course the all-nighter urban decay setting spray this setting spray if nothing else will make my makeup stay all day when it's out of my hands out of my hands why do I keep sitting here all right so this is the natural hiking type of makeup that I came up with. Hopefully nothing will budge today, whether it's raining or I'm sweating a lot. I love it. Very 
easy, simple, natural, but I still feel glamorous. I think the best product out of all of these besides the setting spray that is going to help my makeup stay really well is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield SPF primer that I used. Highly, highly recommend this. This will help your makeup stay on all day. I am going to make some breakfast now. So I took too long doing my makeup this morning and I want to get on the road to go hiking because later tonight my stepkids come at 6.30 so I have to be back by then. So I was going to make yummy French toast but I'm not going to make that anymore <laughs> because I need to get out the door. So I'm just going to make my protein smoothie that I love to make when I am running out of the door and I need something to eat um, and I need like energy, protein. Um, stuff like that. I also actually put collagen in this as well so I'll show you just kind of how roughly how I make it because I always use different types of fruit but my favorite is strawberry and banana so I'll just make a strawberry banana protein collagen smoothie and show you how I make it. Very very simple. Okay so what you'll need for this smoothie is some apple juice, frozen strawberries, mango, yogurt, doesn't really matter what kind of yogurt, I always get Tillamook because it's really yummy, and then milk, and then for protein I am using the plant-based Vega Essentials Shake Mix, it's the vanilla flavored protein powder, it has 20 grams of protein um, with every scoop that you use, and it's only 130 calories. 4 grams of fiber, 1 gram of omega-3, and only 1 gram of sugars, but it has tons of veggies and vitamins and minerals and all that. And for the collagen, I'm using the Ray Vegan Collagen Boost, and it protects your body's collagen production, a blend of vitamin C, bamboo extract, and plant collagen boosters. There's no flavor to this. And I almost forgot, but we're also adding half of a banana as well. Okay, so add the banana, and then add some strawberries. Not too much because I'm only making this for myself, so maybe like that. I don't like my smoothies very thick, so I like to put not as much frozen stuff and more of the liquids. So put in some mango. That's good. And then we'll do some of the yogurt. And I like, I honestly just eyeball everything. So I would say probably like half a cup of yogurt. And then some milk. But once again, just eyeballing it. But I like a lot of liquids. So about that much and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the apple juice help sweeten it a little bit more add one more chunk of mango one more strawberry it's gonna be a big smoothie now I'm going to add the collagen a scoop of this that's the serving size. So one scoop of the collagen and then the Vega protein powder. This I put just a little less than a scoop because it's really strong and it does taste good but if you put too much in the smoothie it makes it like a powdery consistency and it just doesn't taste right or I guess the texture just doesn't feel right. So. I don't put an entire scoop of this in. Almost an entire scoop, like two thirds. So I'm gonna put the lid on and blend it. So done mixing it. Now we can pour it in our cup. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I made the most perfect amount ever. This is 20 ounces, so it's still a really big smoothie, but 
that's it that's the smoothie i make i have you propped up on my body mirror right now my body length mirror so i'm gonna try this smoothie this is such a weird angle so i'm super sorry but i'm gonna try this smoothie i got some on my face this is really good Mm-hmm. I'm so happy I added the mango. The mango made this. Now I need to get dressed for my hike. The mess I am not one of those people that makes my bed every morning but this is the outfit I have this cute little chain with this green t-shirt from the men's section at Target and I tucked it into my sports bra so it's a crop top because I'm probably gonna get hot these are my favorite leggings they're actually from Costco they come in a two-pack I believe absolute favorite leggings ever I don't buy any other leggings they're like $18, two pairs, softest leggings I've ever worn, and they're super long, but they work for short people too, and long-legged people like me. Don't really know how that works, but I'm here for it. It is time to get my butt out the door and go on a hike. Like Update on makeup. It's been like, wait, 99 <laughs> It's been like five hours, four and a half hours, five hours, probably more like four hours. I think the makeup is actually holding up really well, and I actually don't even notice like glass, my glasses marks on my nose. I get those marks right here always with makeup, but with this makeup I put on. I'm not noticing those marks, which tells me it wants to stay on my face. But anyway, we are almost to the park. We're like eight minutes away. They just opened it back up and they have signs everywhere saying like stay six feet apart. But we're almost there and I'll have to check back in later and tell you how my makeup is still doing. But I will definitely show you our hike. It's gonna be really pretty. I saw pictures online. I did not expect it to be this pretty today. It said that it was supposed to be 67, yes, but it was supposed to be like super cloudy, possibly rain. So this is such a lovely surprise. Thinking about what's mine, nothing to deny. Who's that other guy? Are you wasting my time? All these crazy fears that ends with bloody tears. Oh, baby, we keep ripping long nights. Rock your body. Ah, uh, Crimson, I bet you could find some frogs in here. Find some mosquitoes. Definitely mosquitoes or leeches, but. Okay, we gotta go. And get high. Sometimes alright, fear is all we ride. Life is all about time. Feeling like the world is beyond our sight. It's all about the mind. We'll be doing fine. Stop, stop, alright. It's alright. It's all we ride. Stop, stop, alright. Feeling like the 
Oh, the time would you pour some wine for me, smile for me, and I grind on me, yeah. We keep repping long nights, rock your body whole life. So, update on my makeup. I did end up getting those little marks from my sunglasses. Other than that, though, I feel like it's staying on really well because I am sweating so bad. It's actually pretty gross. I'm sweating a lot more than I thought I would. But it's actually really hot out today. I think it's like 67 degrees and just all sun. I don't know if you, I mean, you'll see, but just all sun. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think no matter what, especially if it's hot outside and you're sweating, you're gonna get those marks from your glasses if you're wearing glasses. But that's my update. We are having a picnic at this spot that I showed you because we got real hungry. What's on the menu? Got some leftover pizza and lots and lots of snacks. I'm obsessed with pistachios. Just enjoying the nature, the most beautiful sounds. back at home from the hike and Seattle. There wasn't much else that we did after we left Seattle. We just left that hiking area, Discovery Park, and we found two new parks today that we didn't even know about. We actually found a lot of different areas in Seattle today that we just didn't really ever explore, which is crazy because I have lived in Washington since I was a little girl. I actually lived in Seattle when I was a little girl and I lived in West Seattle when I was like 19 or like 20. I don't know how I didn't know about like that entire area with all those parks, it's beautiful. So we're definitely gonna be visiting there more often. And I really hope you guys enjoy seeing us hiking and all the beautiful views and sounds of the birds and nature i really enjoyed it i don't get out on hikes very often but i have been wanting to for like years now i've been telling myself go outdoors more often it makes you happy you love being even if it's not sunny like i just like the fresh air it makes me feel better because i have you know i have like normal things going on in my life that stress me out i have anxiety Sometimes I feel really down some days and I just notice that anytime I'm outside in fresh air, as long as it's not like pouring rain, I just feel a lot better. I'm sure a lot of other people are like that. It just being outside instantly makes you feel better. I hope you enjoy this vlog, um, hiking edition vlog. It was a really, really, really nice day and I'm really happy. Another thing I wanted to touch on is my makeup. I will say something went wrong I think it's all the powder I used I just don't think me and powders are meant to be every time I put powder on it like starts to get all crusty looking and like rub my makeup off I swear it's the powder my makeup started to come off right here around my nose and where my sunglasses were but otherwise like I feel like it looks pretty dang good still for hours and hours of being outside and sweating and moving my face a lot I don't know like touching my face a lot I think it looks really good still for all of that so there's that don't forget to subscribe and like this video it really helps me out thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video we are currently putting on 
some of this CBD and THC um, what is it a balm that helps with like muscle pain and aches I know I need it from just like today's hike I have like major knots in my shoulders and then yeah he was carrying crimson a lot so he's feeling a little sore his favorite part rubbing it in Cody it's my turn for balm man do I need it I get really tense on the tops of my shoulders and then in my shoulder blades I always get the worst knots Do you feel it? Yeah. Ow. The cutest kitty. God, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, I am done with today. Yeah, this is how we can teach. I'm trying to teach him how to look.